Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hello and welcome. So today we are doing a full face of Huda Beauty because I would say a week or two ago she actually did like a massive sell on her website which I believe she has done quite a few um, months ago I believe um, and I picked up two items because I'm a big fan of Huda Beauty. I just don't really have an opportunity to try a lot of her products because they can be a bit pricey so I have two products that I purchased on her website and then stuff that I've had for a while so if you kind of watch many of my videos you will see a lot of these that I have used before. When I made an order on her website they actually sent a sample of one of her perfumes which is the K Ali in the shade in the shade in the scent vanilla and I have smelt this in stores and they smell amazing like I am a big fan of vanilla um, I'm not a vanilla person as in like <laughs> I'm not a plain vanilla person but as in the scent is absolutely amazing and you know what it's quite a generous amount so I will definitely be using that for quite a while but I think if you spend over a certain amount of money you got a sample which is always very welcome so I'm going to start off with a foundation I don't have a primer I don't have brow products by Huda because again when I bought these two products my basket was getting a little bit heavy and even though um, it was a massive sale like we know some of her stuff can be a little bit pricey but I've just used um, this moisturizer by Beauty Crop um, which is their moisturizing barrier peptide thing that I like using so we're going to go in with her foundation and I have wanted to try this for so freaking long and this is in the shade vanilla so there's a lot of vanilla going on <laughs> um, and this is meant to be kind of like I think this is her full coverage one, which I'm very excited to try because we love in this in this channel we love a full um, coverage foundation because the redness on my skin needs to disappear on most days. So I'm just going to take a couple of pumps. I don't know how much obviously we need at the moment, but I'm going to take a brush. Normally I would do like a half and half comparison of kind of like a sponge and a brush, but I felt like today. We're just going to brush it up. So we're just going to take a brush that I've got by Unicorn Cosmetics and we're just going to tap this in and we're not going to like glide it or anything. I just want to tap because I feel like for me, you get the best coverage that way. And I was reading the box and kind of what um, it says that this foundation does. So it's kind of meant to be like a sweat resistant and sweat proof. My flat is very warm and basically... Even when I'm filming my videos, I have a window open and I still sweat. <laughs> so I need to kind of want a foundation that's going to last me a long time. And even though that the summer's coming up, I have said this in kind of some of my previous videos um, in, well, some of more of my recent ones as well, is that I, during the summer, I don't want to have like a full coverage foundation. This brush is shedding so much. Um, I don't want a full coverage foundation because like, during the summer you just want to feel kind of nice and kind of not too cakey and sometimes with full coverage foundations they will obviously um, feel a bit heavy and they will kind of look a bit heavy as well and I just want something that's a bit light so I know that this foundation probably wouldn't be the best for me to use during the summertime but obviously I purchased this because I want to see if I can use it kind of any other time and the coverage so far is looking pretty damn good I just need to tap it in a little bit more and of course I'm, my problematic area is here <laughs> so if I can kind of get a foundation that will work for my top lip I know I found a good foundation okay so I do quite like that I mean I don't find it streaky I don't find it um, patchy or anything it would have helped if I used like maybe a proper primer but I just don't have a Huda one I know she has a couple I know she's got um, that kind of jelly that glowish one that I've tried a sample of which is very nice it's like jam or something like that it's kind of <laughs> glowish jam primer um, but this is quite nice I mean coverage wise really good I mean I I know this is not a new foundation this is not a new product by any means but for me for like a first impressions I always want to see um how it benefits my skin and then now we're going to go in with the concealer so this is the um faux filter concealer in the shade 
uh, marshmallow. So again, I bought this more recently than anything else. I mean, I purchased this at Boots because they always have some really good sales on. I mean, especially during sometimes they do their um, £10 Tuesday and majority of the time a Huda product is in there. I know that one of the <laughs> last Tuesdays that they had one, um, they had the kind of highlighter, the one with the like the bubbles, the petri dish kind of thing. I wasn't tempted to get that because it just does not look like something that I would enjoy. I tried like a revolution dupe. But I just, um, I know that it's not for me. So, I mean, I don't have a highlighter in this collection to kind of use today, which is fine because I'm waiting for her to bring out maybe, like, I'm pretty sure she must have a powder. Yeah, she does. She has a pretty grunge highlighter that came out recently, but I obviously didn't pick it up. But, um, yeah, I mean, this concealer is super duper nice. I think I got it um, when they had their, like, 20% off, which they do all the time. I think even... Probably when I'm even uploading this or whenever, they will majority of the time have a 20% off their premium beauty, which I wonder how Boots probably make any profit when it comes to this stuff. But, I mean, a lot of their products, um, like Huda, they still are, can be still a bit pricey. I mean, even after the 20% off and 15% off and stuff like that, sometimes it's still quite up there in price. So concealer is on and my under eyes are looking much better than they normally do so let's go on to blush so I have this stick blush that I got um weirdly enough part of the 10 pound Tuesday thing um and I got the shade Bazzy Berry so this is a cheek yeah I was wondering if yeah it's um I thought to myself is this a lip one but it's not but the only issue that I had with this when I got it is that it was stuck to the top of the lid so it kind of annoyed the hell out of me and now I've just made a massive dent in there <laughs> we're doing good today um and this shade is probably just a little bit too deep for me but that's my own fault because I I've always said this I like to try different shades of blushes and I always want to kind of experiment with different shades when it comes to blushes this is obviously a bit dark for me but I go very light-handed I'm not gonna just pile it on like it's <laughs> like I would normally do with a blush because if you've seen any of my videos we all know I love a blush and I don't care what type of blush it is I just want to kind of like pile it on but this I'm just going to slowly blend in because I did have I do have her cheek and lip one in the kind of rectangular bottle or whatever it is but I'm not the biggest fan of that because it's kind of meant to be a tint and it doesn't really show up. Like, I think the shade I got was like an apricot shade. And it just doesn't do anything. And when I have swatched it, it really stains my hand, which I know is the, the whole purpose of it. But it wouldn't really work on my cheeks. So I'm kind of not the biggest fan. That's kind of one of the products that I've used by Huda that I'm not the biggest fan of. But I'm not going to throw it away because it's still a decent product for me to use. And then now we're going to go in with her pound cake. So I got the mini version. And um, I know that these are supposed to be like ones that you bake with. But I don't bake because I don't just like leaving stuff on my face, especially to um, kind of set in and everything. So with this, I'm just going to kind of tap it <clears throat> in, just kind of just make it a bit more like, mattified. Like I don't keep my makeup on. For a very long time when I film unless I'm going out anywhere and then I'll set everything in but I haven't really given this a proper chance because the applicator is slightly um annoying because I know this is a mini <laughs> and I'll just I want to use as much as I can but with the amount of like of product that comes out and that I can get on here it just it's just very faffy like it's just a lot of faffing about <laughs> if you kind of know what that means if you don't know what that means it means it's just a lot of hassle for like no reason so obviously with this you would kind of put the sponge in and then you would kind of give it a shake and then you take it out and there's a bit on there um but it's just <sighs> I don't know it's cute and obviously I should have got the bigger one but I like to buy a small version of things before maybe one day buying the bigger version so I only use like a tiny amount of it and then if I want to use a lot I'll just kind of put it onto 
a brush that I put it onto my ISO clean palette and just take it from there. So now we're going to go on to ISO. This was the second product that I picked up from her 20% off sale, I guess. And this is the Caramel Brown Eyeshadow Palette. So I've only used, I think I've used one of her palettes, which is the mini um, violet palette, which I think is absolutely stunning for like a mini quad. Fantastic. And I know that all her other palettes get such a good... Um, like wrap about them and I will try them one day but again I don't really have 60 pounds to pay on just the palette and this is what this palette looks like I know it's a bit of an older one I think this one in particular probably didn't get maybe the biggest hype around it I'm not too sure because she's come out with so many variations and I've tried so many dupes of these ones there's so many brands out there especially W7 and Technic they like to kind of hype and kind of you know copy I don't know what, if the word is copy I kind of take inspiration from Huda and other types of brands so these ones don't necessarily have any names on them so I'm just going to kind of go in and just kind of show you guys I'm going to take this shade first and there's a tad bit of fallout but that's what I expect these days oh I'm just going to put this kind of on my lid and make that kind of the first transition shade Well, that was very effortless, effortless, effortless putting on that first shade. It is stunning. I mean, I love this already. I mean, again, it's, um, there's a lot of fallout, but when it comes to these type of palettes, it's just about trying to be a bit careful, but you just kind of have to kind of live with it. So I'm taking this brown shade at the bottom and we're going to put that in my crease to make things just a little bit deeper. Okay, so those two shades have gone on super duper nicely. They blend in really, really well. Um, and I feel like maybe going in with maybe this orange one, I'm kind of going to use the same brush that I just used for the second shade. And I'm just going to take a small amount because I don't want it to be too heavy. And I'm going to kind of put it in the middle and just blend that in. So it kind of blends in with the other two shades. And then I feel like going in with two of the shimmers because they look really stunning. So, well, there's one, two, three, four, five shimmers. And I feel like going in maybe with that top one, which is kind of a copper tone, and then maybe using one of these for my inner corner just to see how it blends out. So this middle one, I'll go with in first, and then I'm going to use that. Oh, wow. Okay. I really like this palette. Oh, my God. I was very hesitant to kind of buy one of these, but I think these were pretty affordable. So I was like, this is going to be the, probably one of the only opportunities that I get to use and kind of buy these palettes at such an affordable like price that I just kind of picked it up. There were other things that I put in my basket that I ended up taking out because I was like, this basket is, even with two products, it came to like, 50, 50 something pounds and I'm kind of like this is this is <laughs> this is going way too far and I've already got two things um so I unfortunately wasn't able to buy everything that I wanted to get but you know what I have responsibilities soon so I need to cut down on my purchasing um I'm actually just gonna use this shade for the front part because I used that for the outer corner so this one has got kind of like gold specks in it. So that's going to go here. Oh, this palette is very, very pigmented. If you guys could recommend a Huda Beauty product to me, what would you recommend? Obviously the stuff that I haven't used today because there's so much of her stuff out there that I want to try. And back in the day, I used to own her mini liquid lipsticks, like the mini, there was like a trio. Um, and I absolutely love those. I use those to death. Um, and obviously now there's just not as much that I kind of like, there's so much that I want to try, but there's only so much that I can try. Um, so yeah, if you could recommend me a product, let me know. So I'm now going to go in with this shade on the, in the corner. And I'm hoping it's going to give me something because it looks, oh, oh, that's very pretty. That's very pretty. So I've pretty much used 
I would say 80% of this palette, and I know it's a small palette, um, but that's a really stunning look. Obviously, I've probably not done the best look when it comes to my talents, um, but that's a really nice palette, and I don't think, I don't know how many in like boots and stuff you can still get it, but obviously on her website, that's where I picked it up. And then lastly, we have her faux filter liquid lipstick. No, this is lip gloss. I have a liquid lipstick, which is in the shade Miss America, which is probably one of my favorite red lipsticks ever. It really lasts me all day to wear it. Like I think a couple of days ago, I wore it at work and it lasted me the whole day. And her lipsticks are so freaking good. But with her with gloss at the moment, I think this is absolutely stunning. I've got the shade Posh. And when I'm filming this, I think the day before, she announced that they're coming out with new blushes. So... I'll see how much they are and I'll pick it up and I'll see what shade kind of relates to me. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get this on. Okay, stunning. So yeah, again, as I was saying, I mean, a lot of her products, she's bringing out so many. And for a brand that has been going for years and years, I don't see them slowing down anytime soon. And I really enjoy using her stuff. But this is my finished look. And testing out, especially the new stuff, like the foundation, I really like. And I am probably, I probably would use it during the summer. Like my face is sweating so much right now, and it still looks pretty decent. Like my top lip always just separates, so you can see my natural skin underneath, and it looks freaking horrible. But right now, um, you can't tell. And then when it comes to the eyeshadow palette, oh. It's stunning. And you know what? This brand is going to keep on going strong. And I feel like, you know, just everything that they post on their social media, I really get behind. And I appreciate everything that Huda does. And yeah, she's just an amazing entrepreneur. And I wish I could try a lot of, more of, of her products. I just wish she had like an affordable range. That would be so freaking good. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because I film and upload every time I get a chance to. Don't forget to follow me on any of my social medias because I'm always active on there. And appreciate you sitting down, listening to me ramble on. I will see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>